Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, yesterday I made this card using um, some 12x12 12 12 decorative papers and the 12x12 12 12 pad that I used had these toppers and I said that this style of card could also be made without the pre-done toppers if you use some of the decorative papers and say um, a sentiment or something so I wanted to show you how it would work if I was using just decorative papers to make this card so I've grabbed a pack of my um, dies I'm not sure which sentiment I'm going to use yet but I've grabbed those off the side I'm just using the rest of that rainbow mirror that I used yesterday to be honest because I figured why waste it I might as well use it and then I've picked up one of the brand new paper pads from the works. If you've missed both of those hauls, they are on my channel. Um, this one was in the first one that came by um, my online order, but I did manage to get to the works and I've picked up some more in person as well. So please do head on over and have a look. I'm not going to use any of the toppers, even though I think this one does have a few. Yeah, it has these ones, but I'm not going to use those, though you definitely can. So what I'm looking for in here is I will probably use a solid coloured cardstock. And I actually really like this green. So I'm going to grab this sheet of green out. Then I do actually want one of these um, like black and white sheets. Because I think that would actually be really nice. with hmm, with I'm not sure I think I might go for this one if I'm honest I think I'm going to go for that one then I do want a decorative piece so um, I am torn. I'm not sure which one of those two to go for. I think I'll go for this one, if I'm honest. So I'm also going to go for that one. Then I might also use... I'm really digging into this one today. I want to try and bring in some more of this pink colour as part of my sentiment. I think that might be too fussy, so I might get this sheet as well. Um, here we go. So let's close this off. Now, I did also say in my last video that this can be used on like any size of card that you want. So I'm going to show it you on a different size and I'm just going to grab a random size card blank. So this is a five by seven card blank or in theory it is. We shall say that. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. So this is what I want. So I think I'm going to do my sentiment in this. So let's pick the sentiment I want on mine. What have we got? We've got just for you. Uh, thankful for you. Happy birthday. I'm grateful for you. And sending my love. Uh might just go for happy birthday, you know. So, question is, which one of these is it? It's that one. So, I'll pop the rest away. Pop those on there for now. So, I want to do my backing piece in this. So, I'll put a little square of this out 
doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be big enough for my die and i'll pop that back in the book and then i want the actual sentiment in this So we shall cut that one out as well, just like so. And then this I'm actually going to use on the inside of my card. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to double check the size of my card because I haven't always had a lot of... Um, Good luck with these being the right size. So that is five. And I'm guessing that's going to be seven. Yep, so this is actually a pretty good one. It's fairly, leave that. It's fairly close to the size, so I'm happy with that. So it is a five by seven. So I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to go just a little bit under the five. And I'm going to do the same with where the seven was. So I'm going to bring that in just there. So this will sit on the inside of my card with a little white border, just like so. I like that. That's my inside panel. I'm going to cut the front down. So... I'm going to cut this at three. So I'm essentially cutting two inches off of this. And none of these go to waste. I pop these to one side because they're perfect for stamping on. So I'll pop those there. This panel here, I'm going to do in my black and white print. So I know that that is a three by seven. So I'm going to cut this one notch down from three and one notch down from seven which makes it the same length as the cardstock that's going to go inside my card and it also makes it slightly smaller than the width to give me that gorgeous edging and then i'm going to move both of these out of the way as well because i now don't need those and then here comes the fun bit is deciding what size i want my panel to be um so i need it to be big enough for my sentiment which is going to sit on this size And this is, I'm just going to measure how big my sentence roughly going to be, which is three inches. So I do want it to be slightly wider than that. What is that? Yeah, so we'll go for three and a half. Because there is a white line already on the sheet. So we'll move that away. And I think I do want to make it square. So I think we'll do it three and a half by three and a half. That now. We'll go four and a half, I think. So that will sit like that. I'm kind of making these dimensions up as I go along, in all honesty. Maybe I will cut it down. There is like a white line there, so I might just cut it out that line. What would that cut it to? It'd make it a three and a half square, which is what I thought about doing anyway. So let's go for that. Let's go for that. That will sit just on there. I don't know if this is big enough for what I wanted it for. 
No, so let me grab another piece of mirror. It's okay, that'll go to one side. None of it goes to waste. I'll actually grab a square of mirror. So let's start building some of this up. So I'm going to pop this on first because I'm going to cut this mirror down. So that is our topper piece before we put our um, die cuts on. I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't need that anymore. I'm also going to move these little bits and pieces too. I'm going to bring in my die cutter and we'll get these pieces die cut out so that I can get them glued together and then they have time to dry a little bit. straighten that up when I stick it down I'll straighten that up and then there's my little dot There's a little border. Move that out of the way because I don't need that now. Take this. It's my little dot. It's quite a fragile die, the word, as you can see. I think once we've got some glue on that and got that stuck down it'll be fine so I'm going to use my, I was going to use my, um, where have they gone now? I was going to use my um, tweezers, but despite the fact that I found both of them, I can't find either of them now, so I'll do it by hand. this round pick this up so I can line it up There we go. 
happy birthday. There we go. So that is our sentiment. I think that looks okay. And then I am going to stick this down flat onto my little decorative piece. So there we have that gorgeous sentiment on that decorative piece of paper. I'm going to put that to one side and let that dry while we put the rest of the card together. So this is the little panel to sit on the front. Slightly over with my ATG, which is fine, it rubs off. Just the same on the front lot. I've just gone slightly over, so I can just roll it over the edge. There we go. Pick up my card panel. I always find it easier to line it up this way than I do having it lay down. So that's that front. Put this piece in. And I quite like using a slightly plainer one on the inside for a couple of reasons. One, because I just like the way it contrasts against the decorative papers. I also like the fact it gives you the choice on if you want to write on this inside piece of this or if you just want to write on the white inside like the little tab part so again i'm going to stand my card up just to line this up there we go so that's the inside that's going to sit just like that and then if I grab this panel that we've just made, that's going to sit in the middle. So I'll use my wet glue again. Put my card. Lay that down, line up. there we go how beautiful is that such a simple yet gorgeous card design i absolutely love it i really do like this is gonna probably become one of a f one of my firm favorites um the same way that the triangle cut card has um, I must admit most of my channel is filled with cards that are made using kits and um, pads with toppers and that in but actually after having been asked to make some with just decorative papers I'm really enjoying it and they are absolutely beautiful to use. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified when we post new videos. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope this has inspired you to get out your decorative paper pads to show that you can do beautiful cards just like this. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. Bye for now.